So, uh, you the G-men? Oh, G-people, sorry. I'm Bailey Malone. This is Sam Waters. I love the smell of Old Spice in the morning. You hear the news about Dr. Valentine? Yeah, I just found out. Is he gonna make it? He's in intensive care, but stable at the moment. My manager told you that someone's been stalking me. That's why we're here. You think it's the same guy? We'll have a better idea when we have a look inside. You have time for a little due diligence? What would you like to know? Are you married? No. Boyfriend? I'm a little too busy for a serious relationship now. So you're open for a casual relationship? No, I don't have time for that either. How old were you when you had your first sexual experience? That's the question you want to ask me? Not where did I grow up or where did I go to college or what challenges I think the business faces? You grew up in upstate New York. You went to Stanford. And right now, a lack of capital is your biggest challenge. Oh, congratulations. You've done your due diligence. I shouldn't have gone. It was my brother's party. And just one more thing for my dad to criticize about me. Your dad's wrong on this. I know. Just wish they'd shut the fuck up about my perfect little brother and how fantastic his company is, you know? You know, I think it's a little funny that the same thing happened to me when I donated blood. Frank, you're not doing your homework here. You didn't check my file through. I used to work for the FBI. And you think you just got a bunch of gullible girls, huh? Sometimes when we experience a traumatic event, our bodies find a way of framing the event, sort of like a freeze frame of that moment in time where your brain just can't let go of it. But we try and we try as hard as we can to get past it, but it always stays with us. It's our own choice if we want to let it consume us or if we want to fight back and regain our control. I called the police and they're going to be here in a minute. I'm giving you just enough money to get through another month. And then what? I'm going to need you to call James Flayhaven back and apologize. Apologize for being sexually harassed? He's the only person that showed even a remote interest in investing in your company. Well, I don't want to call him. Then I am not committed to throwing any more money at it. Well, I am going to explore other options. And if nothing pans out in a month, then I'll call him. Now all I need is his signature, and you guys are official. Okay. Well, life tricks you in certain unexpected ways. You should know that by now. Dealing with her death, fighting with your siblings, trying to find your place in this world. Your mom was a good woman. She was the only one who understood you. And just like that, she's gone. What the hell did you say? Tell me, what the hell did you just say? I didn't say nothing. Don't you dare say that. I'm nothing like mama. I don't pop pills and I didn't leave college to marry a loser and cut out coupons my whole life. All right. Ah! Down there. Bitch! Broke up, remember? You just, you know, want to see other people. <sighs> Persia, you're so stupid. Do I have to spell out everything for you? We just kind of got our feelings hurt. I mean, God, Hazel is my uncle, after all. I mean, he was always saying how pretty and how sexy he thought I was. Well, not in the gross way. Do you want her to think all Americans are whiny-ass little shits like you? I, I know. I know it's been hard, Stella. But it, it didn't go down like that. He would never just leave Rex. No, he's not crazy. They're looking for you. What'd you tell him? Nothing. But they brought up Pinker, and they wanted to know what he might want with you. Pinker's dead. I heard it on the news today. Well, maybe you better call him. Just in case he's not. Yeah, the girlfriend. She's so deep. 
there's another great part, the part of the painter's model. The prostitute? It isn't the, the size of the role that matters. Yeah. It's easy for you to say. Um, I made this appointment to go see this therapist. You know, to go and work out my demons, like you were saying. Get my priorities straight. I love you, no matter what. And if I close my eyes, you're right here with me. That is the miracle of having someone who loves you so much on your side. Now, I gotta go. Seriously, you need to find yourself a partner, not just a score. Yeah, but it's, it's not easy with, with my job. Well, life doesn't have to be long to be meaningful. So have you done uh, a lot of acting? Well, I had all the leads in high school. I see. And I worked at the lighthouse. That's where you sing while you wait on tables. Then my boss came on to me, and then I got fired, and then my house burned down, and that's how I ended up with George. I'm a sex goddess. We think the sex goddess has got us. I'm a sex goddess. We think the sex goddess has got us. I'm a sex pot. Elm Street's last breath. Farewell.